questions. The first one, Jamie. Yep. How has lockdown been for you? Because we've seen uh, just a massive increase in, in interest in garden birding and garden bird photography. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Um, people being stuck at home, they've been in the garden a lot more, noticing what's coming into the garden, feeding the birds and seeing different species. And, and people have wanted to capture that on camera or through their binoculars. So, yeah, it, it's been, been really good. Yeah. There's sort of been a lot of interest for, for that kind of thing throughout lockdown. And, and is there a particular um, line of product that, that's doing well at the moment? Is it all DSLRs or? A, a, it's a bit of both, DSLR and mirrorless. Um, binoculars have been fantastic for us yeah. um, throughout lockdown and just coming out of it as well. But mainly macro lenses um, for the bugs and right, the insects yeah, yeah. within the garden and the flowers as well. Yeah. So you bit. mentioned macro lenses very popular. What else are birders looking for in, in cameras at the moment? Cameras with a large zoom range so they can get in nice and close to the birds, be able to identify them as well from the gardens, uh, from the kitchen windows. Uh, cameras such as the P1000 from Nikon and the P950, uh, both with large amounts of zoom. Um, brilliant AF autofocus tracking as well. So um, they're able to follow and track the birds from the kitchen windows without any issues. Yeah, um, the P1000 is 899 with a free bag and a memory card as well as an exclusive kit from yeah. LTE. We, we reviewed that last year and we got a huge amount of interest in that. Yeah. It, 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 you know, some reviews just completely passed by. That was one that a lot of people rang in and, and emailed about. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it doesn't really surprise me. <laughs> One of the things I wanted to ask about, um, we're, we're always very conscious that the binocular market's quite slow moving, you know, it'll take five years to get new product sort of from the, from the big names, um, whereas the photo market is complete opposite, new, new stuff out all the time. Mm. And we get a lot of queries about, from people about getting a good bargain in the, the camera market. Uh, um, have you got any advice there? Um, you know, maybe looking at slightly older models. Uh, yeah, we, we offer a second-hand range, um, yeah. which is, makes it a lot more affordable to get something that's probably a bit higher range if you used to go new, and that includes binoculars and cameras. Yeah. So you can get yeah. a really good bit of equipment if you don't mind going used or, or second-hand. We check everything over before we buy it in yeah. and make sure it's all in good working order with a six-month guarantee as well. That's good. Um, what, what, do, do, you, do you get people coming in with sort of, uh, queries about the actual basics of photography then? Do you yeah, get a lot of that? We, we go right from entry level up to your professional range um, and we're happy to help anyone within that range. Um, we can teach you the very basics right up to something a bit more comprehensive um, without any issues. We, we'd be happy to do that. Yeah. So yeah. Jamie, you're a photographer yourself. Yes. Um, what, what would be your tips for somebody just starting out? Um, I think a lot of people are kind of quite daunted by the technical side of it, you know, a lot of settings on modern cameras. Yeah, yeah. How would you get started? The best thing to do is just to go out, choose a subject and sit there and photograph it for as long as you're willing to wait. Um, have a look at your pictures and see where you've gone wrong. Look at your mistakes, if it's a bit blurred or a bit too bright, just alter the settings and have another go. The beauty of digital now is it's all on memory cards, so you can just yeah, delete yeah. and start again. Um, so the best thing to do is just get out there and try and learn and teach yourself and ask advice as well from either us or friends. Yeah, absolutely. And so garden bird watching is a good way to start really because yeah, yeah. because you know they're going to be there, they're not going to move a, That's a great deal. Keep and, costs and down, put some bird feed out, yeah. just sit somewhere warm and just aim your camera at it and give it a go. Best way to learn. So having a bit of a look at some of the kit that Jamie's brought along, um, nice terror binoculars, Canon R5, I've got my trusty Swarovskis with me. As you probably know, they're all pretty pricey. You're talking 2,000 here, I think we're talking about 4,000 for the body of that camera. Yeah, that's 4,199 body only. Uh, that one's about 2,500 for the lens. Um, you don't have to start at the top. Um, no, this is, this is an there. incredible bit of kit, but you can start right at your budget end of 500 pounds and work your way up. But if you did want to dive into a bit of equipment like this, you've got the option of part exchange and you can trade in any old kits. It doesn't have to be like for like, um, just to make it a bit more affordable and obtainable. And, and do you get a lot of that with um, with binoculars as well? Yeah, the, the... yeah, absolutely. Tele um, scopes and binoculars, very popular. And yeah. they'll trade in the old ones that are big and heavy for something lighter, like the, the Zeiss or the Swarovskis. Okay, well, as I said at the start, 
we're going to be answering photography questions in the magazine with the help of London Camera Exchange. So go onto our website or email us at birdwatching at bowmedia.co.uk and send us your photography queries and we'll do our best to answer them.